Patrick Minford is a professor of economics at Cardiff University. He is also a former advisor to the former Conservative Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. He joins me now live from Cardiff in the UK. Very good to have you here on the program, Professor. We do appreciate it. Now, you've been here before. You've been preparing these King's speeches during your time with Margaret Thatcher. What's it like when you come to a moment like this, when you're supposed to tell the country about the plans going forward? Well, it's obviously the moment when they explain what they're going to do. And that's what Keir Starmer is trying to do and Rachel Reeves, the new chancellor. And so they're setting out their program. It's a very important moment for strategy and explaining to people what they're trying to do. So that's what they're doing today. <clears throat> and what do you expect to hear from the King's speech today? Well, they're going to try and tackle uh, planning and try to get things built and, and housing and infrastructure because there's so many problems with our planning system that hold things up. And that's one thing they're going to tackle. The other thing they're going to tackle is the National Health Service, where there's terrible backlogs of operations. And it's, it's very inefficient and they're spending a lot of money on it, but it's not working very well. And then they're putting them agenda for growth right at the center and saying they're going to achieve growth. And that's really where the problems are, because achieving growth is not a not an easy thing to do. You have to get people motivated to invest and improve productivity. And that's probably the greatest weakness in their program where they haven't got much to tell us. And it everyone one has to be very doubtful whether it will work because they have they're short of money and they are threatening really to raise taxes on business and that may be the thing that damages the growth agenda most of all well the uk electorate did choose this government they won by a landslide they have more than 400 mps now uh, with keir starmer now preparing this king speech he did say that today's speech will take the brakes off britain i know you're a professor of economics but what do you think that Keir Starmer has to do to take the brakes off Britain? Well, the key thing is to create the conditions for, for, for growth. And unfortunately, I think what Keir Starmer and his government believe is that government can create growth by regulation and direction of industrial policy. And that is completely wrong because what we saw in the past from the period of reform under Mrs. Thatcher was that growth came from liberating business and, uh, and, and encouraging entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs through incentives to create jobs, innovate and invest. That's the thing that's missing from the, the Starmer Reeves strategy, because they think it can all be done by government and they don't seem to have understood that they have to inspire the private sector by giving them incentives. Mr. Menford, let's just make one thing clear here. You worked for Margaret Thatcher, a conservative prime minister. Now there is a Labour government in place. Again, they won by a landslide. People voted them in and told Rishi Sunak that they did not want his government to be in power. It's been two weeks now since the election. How would you rate Keir Starmer's first two weeks in office? Well, he's a presentable man and he's telling people what they want to hear, which is that he will he will be um, devoted and hardworking prime minister. And that's all good. And he seems to press all the right buttons in terms of presentation. Uh, of course, the difficulty is that, you know, will the policies work? That's the difficulty. And are they framed in a way that creates confidence in business? And at the moment, business is very equivocal about Labour because it's worried that Labour is going to bring in a lot more regulations and raise taxes substantially. So he's quite popular with ordinary people in the sense that he's saying all the right things and looking looking good and going to uh, talking, you know, to to um, Mr. Zelensky and also to Joe Biden. All that's quite good stuff. And people wish him well because, of course, the Conservatives made a terrible mess of things. So he's got a lot of goodwill 
the big problem is that he's got to bring business on side and inspire them to feel that government is on the side of business and is going to back them and not raise taxes on them and regulate them so that they can't actually make any money. That's the big problem he faces. And Labour governments have always faced this problem because they don't really believe in private sector. They believe in government. That's that's his big uh, problem, I think, as he goes forward. Professor Minford, very good to have you on the programme and hear your views. Thank you so much.